gonna cannot hold. dab. Dab forever. Oh, Jed stopped dabbing just before we went live. Final uh, dab. <laughs> the final dab. <laughs> the final dab now. Can't believe you did that to my boy. <laughs> we're live, Jimmy. Oh, we're live. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> I was waiting for. This is your Wait, dog and pony show, Kofeld. <laughs> Who's hosting this thing? Who's hosting this? Hey, Who's hosting this? Huh? <laughs> we'll walk him over You everyone. see, this guy is in the middle this time. This guy over here is in the middle. <laughs> Welcome, everyone. Uh, we are the. We are the DPS, the Dragon Punch Squad podcast, and we have come to you on this eve of October, if you will, bringing in spoopy season with a wonderful one shot by Paizo called Sundering Waves, or as we like to call it, a tale of sails. So join us as we embark on this magical, mystical journey full of pirates. Are um, maybe some parrots, caca, and also <laughs> seagulls, also caca, because <laughs> now I have one voice for that. <laughs> well, I think we can all see that the budget didn't go into. <laughs> <laughs> I will. Ha I have a confession to make. I had uh, massive plans to uh, hop on over to Spirit Halloween and get me some pirate gear, and I was gonna bless blow everyone away with a cheap pirate cosplay but sadly i was not able to uh to get out there but who knows maybe tomorrow so uh, that leads me to my little icebreaker so what is your guys's favorite halloween costume i know you're like halloween that's like at the end of the month but in my head halloween's tomorrow so if you had <laughs> well it's halloween season so you're still it's halloween season. right yeah yeah Timmy's trying to speed run us getting canceled or something. <laughs> hey, that's I asked for your favorite, not your most controversial. That's it. That's a Freudian <laughs> slip. That's a Freudian slip there, John. There you go. <laughs> Everybody knows I'm a terrible person. <laughs> uh, well, um my favorite one I've ever been was uh I went as Giovanni. Full suit oh, and everything. Oh, that's, that's good. That's good. Okay. Yeah, that's All right. Good. Yeah. That's a yeah. fun one. Yeah. <laughs> Now, did you have a Persian? Uh, no. There was some Persian. plans for something to happen, but it fell through. So. Gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay, I couldn't remember. I couldn't. I couldn't rent a lion. <laughs> <laughs> Not even a mountain lion. Not even like a smaller. No, they were real pricks about it. <laughs> just so many forms. It's <laughs> just John challenging children at night. Yeah. <laughs> Where's your Pokemon, you can, kid? <laughs> you can give me your me. Pokemon. I need to use them for yeah. business. <laughs> just you, can give me your, you can give me your candy or maybe he's hungry. I don't know. <laughs> just call up Mike well, Tyson and get, and get his mountain lion. You know he's got one. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, but then you have to go after Mike Tyson. Yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I see Mike Tyson coming at me, and I am jumping in a car and going the opposite direction. <laughs> it's, safe. Uh, it's a very safe bet to leave. Well, my favorite costume is I mean, since John led with Giovanni, I have to follow up with mine, which is Team Rocket. Oh, just, just nothing better than dressing up like Team Rocket and yeah. Yep, <laughs> and yep. trying to steal kids Pokemon <laughs> <laughs> we could still do that and John could still do his Giovanni and we could go yeah. really far into the immersion <laughs> where he orders us around and tells us to steal kids stuff I just scream at you the entire night you guys suck <laughs> what Pokemon do you got uh, we all have Coughings and Ekans for some reason <laughs> it's low tier trash we can't afford any <laughs> I need that S tier Pikachu today yeah <laughs> Uh, so the, the the one of my favorites that, that I ever did was it was uh, our uh, our daughter's first Halloween and we did s'mores as uh, for like a family gift oh, fa wow. family one and so uh, I we, we took cardboard pieces and, and wore them like you know like the signs that, that people wear um, the the end is nigh like we you know we wore them like those things mm -hmm. uh, and then um, but uh, my wife had one that had that uh, it had like a chocolate bar on it and then and then I just had like the graham cracker pattern. And then we just wrapped our 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 infant daughter in like in like a puffy white blanket, so she looked like like creamy marshmallow. Aww. We got so much candy. We oh, got yeah. so much candy. The best part, she couldn't have any of it. It was all ours. Right, right. It was incredible. 
<laughs> Biggest haul I ever got. <laughs> Nothing's more wholesome than child exploitation. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think of what my favorite was because I I, the, I know you've had some wild ones, Mark. Uh, not not too crazy. I mean, some of them I'd wear for Halloween, but other times I'd be like, uh, wear for the uh, you know a couple hours and I'm done because hmm. okay. yeah. how intensive it is. But probably my plague doctor one is probably oh, yeah. this one yep. that I did for a while. But actually, one of my older ones that I did that got back at one of my salmon still in that phase of uh the good old brandon lee the crow oh um, yes that's a band. good one i oh. used to have all that i had a one before i had long hair i had a, a wig and then when i had long hair i didn't need that anymore right <laughs> yeah but i had the grease pain and all that stuff oh all on and all i had to do was just stress around and be brooding the entire time it was great kelly i just saw the pictures you posted and I, I think i'm afraid of you now yeah i just threw my my favorite years ago but i uh my tennis zombie i repurposed one of my broken 180 dollars <laughs> rackets oh, and uh, the hair was you look so young and such so a oh swab. my god I mean, did, this did, was probably did, do i have permission to pull that up in uh yeah, yeah. Right. So I put it there. This was in two, uh, 2012. Oh, so uh, a thousand years yeah. ago. Yeah, it was a while ago. Yeah, I still got still got those pictures on my phone. Wow. Uh, yeah. I think that's the impressive part that it made it through all your phone transfers. Uh, right. Yeah. Yeah. I, I got photos. I got photos all the way back to like 2010 <laughs> on this phone. Oh my gosh. Kelly, we all know they didn't make cameras in 2010. <laughs> yep, this is actually me drawing myself. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> there it is. There he is, ladies and gentlemen. Look at that guy. <laughs> Absolute Chad. Uh, Speaking of October Eve, is everybody listening to Green Day at midnight tonight? What? Oh, yeah. Oh, when September, September ends. Wait, yeah, yeah, when September ends. Oh, I was just like, wait, what? <laughs> That's a deep I, I, I knew what he was going for. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I don't think I've listened. It took me to Green... a moment. <laughs> I haven't listened to Green uh, Day yeah. in like years. I, I listen. I, I I listen to a few albums uh, uh, in, in every year. I usually cycle through them. Mm. Classics. Well, while you guys were talking, I put mine together real quick. So I'll just. Um... Oh yes. Oh, <laughs> you have it. You have it. Oh, yes. okay. All right. you... What? <laughs> Oh East my work. gosh! Yes. <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was probably my favorite one. Um, uh, I, uh, I had a black cutoff T-shirt, red w tablecloth, and tinfoil gauntlets. That's beautiful. Very That's awesome. low effort, but came out really well, actually. You know, sometimes it's the ultra low effort ones that just shine the best. Oh, I, have, I have no doubt you're the belle of the ball, Jed. <laughs> I think my quote of the night was I believe this is what you mortals call going hard in the paint <laughs> Jed you I always was in, I, oh I was in college at the gosh. time oh, that's gorgeous. Jed you oh. always deliver and that's why I fucking love you oh, I know <laughs> <laughs> Jed commits I do I commit to the bit <laughs> oh, speaking of committing to the bit um, y'all tuned in for a pirate stream so y'all gotta get a sea shanty uh, uh, old Timmy, he hasn't had time to flex his pipes like he used to. Me, 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 me. So y'all are in for a real treat because I uh, gutted this sh sea shanty tune to be specific for this adventure. Um, so astute observers, take notes because there will be a test. <clears throat> and I shall begin <clears throat> there once was a crew called the brass bird but the andor navy said that's absurd they went hunting on the versian sea to try to take them down boom went the cannonball that wrecked the ship sail and all Boom went the cannonball that made the brass bird fall. The lieutenant soon boarded the ship, grabbed a Renlock's gun right from his hip. He looked at them, said, come with me, as the rest of the crew did plea. Boom 
went the cannonball that wrecked the ship sail and all. Boom went the cannonball that made the brass bird fall. It's been five years since that brutal day, so Carlo took to the skies to say, Hey, brass birds, there's still more to do. So he summoned the four of you. Boom went the cannonball that wrecked the ship sail and all. Boom went the cannonball that made the brass bird fall. Boom went the cannonball that wrecked the ship sail and all. Boom went the cannonball that made the brass bird fall. Boom. The scene opens up to smoke. The splintering of wood is jarring. From amongst the busted wood fire and soot, a grizzled man emerges. Arr! Stand down! Stand down, you scurvy dogs! Ain't your life worth more than this? Without even waiting for an answer, the captain calls out, Raise the white flag, laddies! Ye have to know when ye been beat. The crew then makes quick work and raises the white flag. The dust and soot then begins to settle. Ears still ringing from the cannon fire. <laughs> Moments later, an impressive naval vessel approaches. The Andoran Navy. Soon the gangplank drops on the starboard side. And the pirate ship floods with seamen. These sailors are clad in the Andor in black and blue, each sh shirt adorned with a gold eagle carrying a longsword. With the crew clearly outnumbered, an arrogant man crosses the gangplank onto the ship. This ship is no longer terrorizing these waters. By the decree of Andorin, you will face a fair trial back on land. Now tell me, where is your captain? Renlock, was it? Aye, that's me. Come, we have much to discuss. Two men move forward and strip Captain Renlock of his gun and sword. They place him in manacles and lead him away to the other ship. But before disappearing into the folds of blue, black, and gold, he turns his head. Fair not, lassies and lads. Oh, Renlock will make sure you get your fair trial. Once you're a part of the flock of the brass bird, ye always are. And that was the last time any of you saw Captain Renlock. Fortunately, you were set free after only a few months, but Renlock wasn't so lucky. He spent his last years in jail until an illness claimed his life. You learned of Renlock's death from his trusty companion, a clockwork parrot named Kahlo. And Kahlo. There he is. He's beautiful. Uh, can we get everyone in chat to pour on out for the captain? Pour on out for the captain. Yep. <laughs> here, here. Seemed like a here. Good, good dude. I need to pour myself some whiskey. I actually didn't do that. <laughs> Kelly. Oh. Oh my God. Of all people. Of all people. I know. I know. You you have wireless yeah. earbuds. <laughs> Go, man. I do. <laughs> okay. Thanks for excusing me, teacher. <laughs> teacher, teacher just excuse me so I could get liquor. <laughs> teacher, can I get some whiskey? <sighs> just All right. that you don't this teacher you. rocks. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So, anyways, y'all learned of Redlock's death from Kahlo, um, the trusty parrot that remained ever at his side until he died. Just a few weeks ago, the clockwork bird sought you all out to deliver the bad news and a piece of a map. Uh, I have placed a piece of a map fragment in each of your guys' player journals. Uh, the audience will not be able to see all of them because I only revealed one to Jake, um, and Jake's kind of like our eyes into roll 20. But Rest assured, there are four pieces, and hopefully, everyone will see all four. 
So uh, while one side contains uh, a cryptic clue, the other suggested you to travel to this beach. And speaking of beach, let's take you all to the beach in question. Uh, did you have something to say, let's Jake? Let's go. Yeah, uh, I, I, I was going to say, let, let me get the music going. Uh, oh, yeah. Get some, get some quiet cove, if that's, if mm -hmm. that's appropriate for this, Tim. Oh, yes, it is indeed. Okay. Because it is a kind of a cove that you find yourself in. Uh, yes, you did, <laughs> yes. I was like, whoa, where is it? Scrolling where all the way down it? for that so I can see Scroll it. Scroll <laughs> all the way down, and you see the map before you. So as I was saying, one side uh, contains a cryptic clue in what looks to be some like portion of the map, and the other suggests you to travel to this beach on this morning to find the captain's most prized treasure. So here you are, along with three others, staring at the partially sunken remains of the ship you once called home. The smell of the surf and rotting wood hang heavy in the air, the silence broken only by the screech of faraway gulls on this lonely island north of the shackles. <coughs> so, who do we see on the shore here? Jake, how about you start us off if you are feeling up for it? Uh, yeah, so uh, you see a halfling. Uh, who has over his shoulder, as he's sort of propping it up like this, he has a massive rifle on his side. Uh, let me go ahead and pull up the image for everybody at home. Uh, let me go to... Oh, there it is. Can I shift Z, my own token? Oh, no, I can't. Oh, that's a bummer. Hey, well, you shoot your eye out. There you go. <laughs> uh, so yeah, the, he is a halfling with a gun that's pretty much bigger than him. Uh, all disheveled hair and <laughs> beard all mangled up and stuff with a with a uh, not very well rolled <laughs> uh, a, a, a cigarette in his mouth. Yeah, I was about to say, that's a weak roll there. Yeah, it's a weak roll, weak yeah. Roll. <laughs> you ever um, tried to roll one on a rowboat? <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. Stop, stop moving, stop moving. <laughs> I'm trying. <laughs> uh, so he, uh, he uh, b being a halfling, is uh, in, in, ex extremely, um, uh, he's, he's, he's feisty, he's a bit of a fighter, but he's got just a sort of grungy look to him, you know, being a pirate for what appears to be so long. He's got, like, grays in his beard and stuff. Uh, his, his skin is severely, like, leathered and, like, burnt. Mm -hmm from years and years of just being out, out, out on the open ocean. Uh, and he, uh, he has, uh, he has the clue that, 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 that we were looking at a second ago. And so he's yeah. just reading that and looking around, trying to, trying to make sure that everything lines up properly. Yeah. So speaking of people that are kind of near him, John, <clears throat> what well, does your character look like? My character is a six foot five half orc. Uh, he is dressed in studded leather armor, and uh, his namesake is around his neck. It's the bottom jaw of a shark that he's turned into a necklace. His name is Sloan Badmaw, and he has at his hip a short blunderbuss that the uh, butt stock has been sawed off of, so it is a just about that long stick of death, and he's one of the baddest pirates of the sea. Lone Bad Maw is the best name I've ever heard. In a, in it's, it's really good. Yeah. Lone good. fucking Bad Maw. Mm -hmm. You usually come up with good names, but that's that's my favorite. By yeah, far. yeah. So yeah I was pretty proud of that. <laughs> keep, yeah. keep, yeah. keep carrying it over. Keep carrying it over. <laughs> yeah. Like yeah, this can't be the only time that you play. This can't be the only time you play a slow right. Bad yeah. Maw. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it won't. Reincarnated. It will not. <laughs> Wait, I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say my character's name. Uh, so the halfling. Uh, sorry, sorry to bring it back to me. Uh, the halfling's name is Henry Kneecap Killer Goodwart. Yep. <laughs> And Sloane Badmaw and Henry Kneecap Killer have a bit of a friendship. Mm -hmm. They actually came in on the same boat. That's who was uh, doing the uneven rowing while he was trying to roll his little cigarette. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Pull your weight, you little prick. I'm pulling it. I'm pulling it. 
<laughs> just, just give me both oars. <laughs> you're, you're, like, you're trying to pull the cigarette. I'm pulling. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, next up, uh, we see a character emerge just right out of the ocean. Um, Mark, <laughs> this character emerges out of the ocean, air tube in his mouth. Uh, tell us a little bit about him. Okay, so this is uh, Belky, or Bell, as he's also known as. Um, he is an Azarkidi deep diver who has worked to get treasure most of the time, but his companion is something, a being that's simply just known as Om, or O-M, and is a, ain't as his, uh, spoilers of and his Eidolon, which is a construct deep diver suit. And yeah, so but there's always something weird. It's like the fog, there's something foggy in the lenses, but there might be something inside, but every time he tries to get a take a good look, it pushes him away. Hmm. And, and, and then we have a lone character on the far west kelly tell us about him this is a dark and dusky automaton he with a tricorn hat and a, and a dark cloak he has a single like deep purple eye and he's constantly uh constantly fuming a, a faint arcane exhaust uh from time to time and he is known as the furtive um yeah he uh he's a very shifty shady kind of solitary guy um keeps to himself uh oftentimes just he'll be behind you and you won't even know <laughs> um yeah uh a uh robot of few words but when he speaks it's usually important all right, so as you all are kind of like getting your bearings, um, you see that the sun begins to rise and a narrow beam of light illuminates the captain's wheel of a sunken ship. What do you do? Sloan. Yeah. Throw me up there. <laughs> you have an incredibly deep voice for someone so small. Say that again, I'll knock your lights out. <laughs> yeah, you can't reach him. <laughs> It's the constant cigarette smoke. <laughs> I move. I move to throw my little friend on top. <laughs> All right, uh, base the uh, athletics it. check. Thank God, I'm quite good at that. I feel like Jake needs to have a smoker's cough now. <laughs> <laughs> a six pack a day. <laughs> that would be a twenty-three. Oh yeah, that is actually enough to get you on the boat. Oh my gosh. All right. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm swole as fuck, mate. <laughs> dust ball special. <laughs> okay, uh, that is dust ball special. <laughs> so old kneecap is on the boat. Um, any all want to do anything before <laughs> before I just continue on with little Henry? <laughs> uh, I've got to try to get up on this stupid boat because he's, he's shit. Anybody gets out there, he's by himself. He can't <laughs> climb up into the fucking crow's nest. Oh. Um. Can I get control of my token? Oh, whoops. Yeah, yeah I don't have I don't have control either. I will fix that. Kimmy. Bye. Whoops. Tim just wants to control everybody. Wow. Tim just wants to have fun, guys. Yeah. <laughs> I have fun when I control the whole situation. <laughs> All the characters. Somebody please think of Tim. <laughs> <laughs> I never do that. <laughs> Leave Tim alone. <laughs> uh, All right, y'all should be good now. Okay, um, so just do a perception check around the base area of it. Yeah, sure. Just to see if there's anything lurking in the shadows of this half-sunken ship. Yep, do it. So, okay, that would be a... Oh, boy. Gotta use my other... Oh, cool. 20, exactly. 20, exactly. Um, <clears throat> let me see what you see. 
Uh, yeah, actually. Um, well, are you? Well, how close are you to the boat? Are you just like taking a view from a distance? Or are you kind of getting up and expe uh, expecting it? Well, like from this distance right now. This distance. Um, you don't really see too much. Uh, water seems calm. The cliffs, uh, kind of like the the face of this cliffside, um, looks pretty uniform. Oh, well, not like uniform, but you know, jagged. Mm -hmm. Nothing out of the ordinary. Um, just looks like a, a cove and a, a half sunken ship that you once called home. Okay, so uh, Belky is going to stand on the shoreline and his automaton, or not automaton, he's not, he's not really. Uh, is, <laughs> what is he? <laughs> it's, what is it's, he? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. He refuses to talk about it. He doesn't speak, all he does is just follow directions. <laughs> And uh, he is going to actually swim to, I guess, the port here. Okay, this guy, uh, I need an athletics check to swim. He has a swim speed. Oh, well, he just swims. <laughs> yep. uh, uh, yeah, I took a feat for him that uh, my construct knows how to swim. That's so. awesome. Well, if I matter of fact, Mark was, he was like, he has a swim speed. <laughs> don't make me roll. <laughs> I don't, I don't need you, GM. <laughs> I don't <laughs> want to roll. Mark is like, how to... can I not roll? <laughs> yeah. Hey, this is a underwater adventure, right? Please. Yeah, exactly. Uh, but yeah, he, he swims over. And... I am also trying to get on the boat. All yeah. right. Athletics yeah. to swim. All right. Anyone who wants to try to make it on the boat, go yeah. ahead and swim. Uh, yeah, I got it. A natty eighteen on the die. So. Yeah, you got it. All right. As as Sloan climbs up over the side, I just have my gun right there. <laughs> You don't have the balls, little man. No, I'll grab it and I'll pull you up. Come on. <laughs> oh, that was awkward. Just grab the gun and throw him back. <laughs> <laughs> Same with me. All right. Swim speed. About the yep. furtive. Does he want to try to make it on board? Uh, he wants to make a, uh, a keen perception of the water first. Okay, okay. If there's any weird disturbances and then he'll start swimming. Oof. Not good. Natural one. <laughs> oh, okay. You are you're um there's sharks in these waters. Um you don't know why everyone was so cavalier about um swimming. <laughs> and why there are sharks so close to shore. <laughs> but there are sharks. Hello sharks. All right. He uh he whips out his rapier pistol and fires into the water at a shark. <laughs> He's gonna fight beside him. So, so that we, the so that we all take our guns and point in that direction, like ready to yeah. fire. So we just, yeah. What the fuck was that? I do all know. There's sharks uh, in the water. <laughs> I'm not swimming over there. There's no sharks in the water. Uh, Henry, what the fuck was this guy's name? Uh, what was it? The furtive. The fur furtive. Hey, we ball back. Come over here. Come on. There's no sharks. Are you sure? I, has the... <laughs> I pick up a rock and throw it in. Come over here, and then we'll <laughs> shoot any if they come near you. All right. He sticks his rapier pistol away. All right, he, as, yeah. the, as the water he, clears. If, if, he, he would... if he could blush, he would blush. <laughs> 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 With embarrassment. <laughs> As he's realizing all of you are up there and you're like, there's a fucking shark up here. <laughs> hey, you got a small thing of spray paint. <laughs> <laughs> paint his face. Uh, okay, I, I, so he'll I, still swim. Yeah. Oh, shit. Not a good, more, good, more terrible. He uh, sinks like a rock. 11. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, you just don't make any progress. Oh, okay. All right, let's get on. So he plops in and he starts to look like he's just really struggling with this guy. Well, he just got a pirate. Like a true pirate. Right. <laughs> pirates of Caribbean, but you just walk along the bottom. Right. Uh, yeah. On top of your head. <laughs> whoop, whoop. You need to have that, mate. Uh, I, I, think I, can, I think I can do it. I'll try again. You sound so confident, I must let you. I will be fine. Oh, okay, that's better. Uh, 24. <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. You were just, you know, maybe had a little, uh, you look down and you see that a little minnow had gotten kind of stuck in one of your um, knee joints. Uh, you just had to wiggle it loose and then you're good to go. Sometimes the, sometimes the fish gets stuck in there. You just have to, you have to pry them out. <laughs> yeah, I wouldn't know much about that. <laughs> they don't get, you don't get fish stuck in your joints? <laughs> nah, I got nope. one, like tried to stick around my neck and then I killed it. 
you see right. him like cover you, you see him like cover his face fence and he just like blows real hard and you see like a, a mist of arcane like <laughs> like exhaust to shoot the fish out <laughs> of his knee <laughs> a little trick i learned it's just like belt you know, all right ow and belt <laughs> and with the, arcane uh, gas you know. <laughs> But All right, Timmy. A mosquito in my room here. It's <laughs> flying at my face and making oh, that no. line that Tim was doing. Uh, oh, I hate that. I see it. I want to kill it. <laughs> get it. Get it. Shoot it. We're all gunslingers. Shoot. <laughs> all right, bang, I got bang, rubber bang, band. Bang. I'll just hit it with a rubber band. There you go. So as Mark is dealing with his mosquito problem, oh. um, getting back on this ship is uh is pretty surreal. So even though that the brass bird is just a rotting hulk right now, it brings back memories of your time aboard, sailing up and down the coast of Avastan and Garund, chasing fame and fortune. But dreams of that glorious past have faded. And now all that remains is the half-sunken hulk of Captain Renlock's prize ship. Even now, you can see the wheel where he steered the ship shouting orders to you and the other crew members as you chased fortune together. You can still hear his final call to stand down as the Andoran ships closed in. The call that likely saved your life. But then you realize you're actually hearing something calling out to you, but it doesn't sound like Renlock. It sounds like a little <laughs> As a familiar-looking clockwork monkey is running at you, you see it's everyone's favorite, RM80, the clockwork <laughs> monkey. And he's actually motioning you to follow it. You haven't seen this little guy in five years, and here he is on the hulking, rotting mass the bra um, of the brass bird. And uh, you follow him into, like, <clears throat> what used to be like the captain's quarters you can see that like the door is kind of hanging off its hinges and as you enter in you see something here that looks familiar while everything else has been eaten away by time in the sea you see this hulking clockwork type being jed what does this look like you see, uh, leaning against the wall in what appears to be some sort of shutdown or standby mode, a clockwork um, silver-typed uh, um, called creature being. Um, he has a metal mustache across his face, and he has on a leather duster and some bandoliers that are filled with all manner of objects wearing a pair of clockwork um, goggles, or, or steampunk goggles on his forehead. Um, and he is he is clearly in in, in the uh, incapacitated state at the moment. Yeah, so you all know this to be your good friend Chum, the creation handler and unapologetic marauder system. Only he doesn't seem to be responses as, as Jed had described. He seems to kind of be inert. And you see it looks like, as kind of like you're inspecting him, it looks like his heart gear is missing. The one gear that you just stick in this certain place and just gets everything going. Um, and you can see that the clockwork monkey is kind of screeching at you all. And he's like, ah, 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 and he's like kind of pointing and he kind of motions you over and you see the heart gear and everything else is like, you know, time eaten and worn away. Uh, but this heart gear just looks like it has some scratches on it. Poor Armady wasn't strong enough to pick up the heart gear and revive his friends. What uh, do you do? Henry goes over and he's just like, wake up! <laughs> Slap him. <laughs> I don't rock, think that's going to work. It just rocks backwards. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have to insert let's the gear. Be, let's be honest, Henry. Did you really just want to fucking hit him? <laughs> Maybe a little bit, but I thought it would help. <laughs> the furtive will go over and he will pick up the heart gear as he uh he knows what to do <laughs> yeah you two were best friends weren't you i mean he's a clunky older model but yes so you could say we were friends the best oh i do miss the banter between you two <laughs> please he's a moron <laughs> but i did miss him 
<laughs> and two big humps of stupid metal just yelling at each other. It was great. <laughs> <laughs> well, might as well get this old piece of rasta back in him. He'll go over and he will insert the the hard gear. Click, 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 click. It kind of stands up. Commencing update one of fifty five. <laughs> Commencing update two of fifty five. Oh, we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna be here for ages. Commencing update three of fifty five. Just pick Hit him up. again, maybe they'll speed him up. <laughs> <laughs> Triple click on him, he should be fine. As you smack him, he's like. <laughs> he continues. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, ask me later. Ask me later. Ask me later. <laughs> he shoots through all the updates and he slowly stands up and <laughs> scanning, registering. He looks around. Meat bag one. Meat bag <laughs> two. Meat bag three. Magical anomaly. <laughs> my, uh, God. my dear friend. <laughs> Wait. Two arms to battle, and he. <laughs> well, no, 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 no. He Wait. turns around and runs up the stairs because he thinks we're still under attack. No, 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 friend, 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 friend. We're fine. We're fine. Chum. You could let. You could just let this play out. See what happens. You know what? That's a better idea. Jump! <laughs> jump! Get him! We'll handle things down here. Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> and, uh, as Chum runs out, um, you're just you're very shocked by the scene because your vision is is kind of crossed between what your what your long term storage told you was battle, fight, soot, you know, gunfire, but your actual sensors are picking up. Water, rot, stillness, and uh, you come out and you see a glimmer of light just shining on the captain's wheel, empty where once the captain stood, and a little clockwork parrot lands on top of it and calls out to you. Yeah, he oh, hits Chum, good to see ya. Good to see ya. <laughs> where are the others? Are they still in there? What are they doing down there? Need to come out. <laughs> he hits the deck and he looks up and goes, Two arms, we take no quarter. <laughs> he just kind of looks around, <laughs> confused. <laughs> so then, on his way up, well, that was less entertaining than I was expecting, but you know. Don't know until you try, Henry. <laughs> uh, you know, it, it was a good show, nonetheless. <laughs> I was hoping he'd jump overboard. At least he didn't explode this oh, time. Oh, to all the sharks that are down there. Nice try. Uh, <laughs> there <laughs> are sharks in the water? No, no, no. Oh. Yes, Bl yes. Bloody hell, no, there's no shark. There's no sharks. What's it with it in these uh, balls of metal and thinking there's sharks in the fucking water? I don't get it. <laughs> there's not sharks to like kilometers out. I don't know what they're doing. And then Kala just pipes up like, all right, let's talk about this later. <laughs> and then he just kind of <laughs> just uh, unearthly kind of unhinges. And you hear the voice of Renlock coming from Kalo. I am my friends. It pleases this old pirate's heart to see you gathered on the deck once again. Ah, oh, the brass bird. Ah, although my time is past, I have found one last treasure for you to plunder. But to ensure it doesn't fall into the wrong hands, I have placed a few challenges in your way. Don't worry, I am sure there's nothing you can't handle. To open the way, you must sail from the home of the pirates to plunder the coasts of Verissia. Return home, but then make your way to Absalon to spend your loot. Finally, follow my dream and sail to the River Kingdoms and retire in peace. And after that cryptic clue, Kahlo grows silent and stares at the captain's wheel. Uh, and he pipes up. Don't forget to look at your map pieces. 
So he he look he looks at the wheel. Right, Kahlo. Mm-hmm. Henry looks at it and he's like, and then he looks at the boat. Obviously, in this derelict state, he's like, yeah. "Does he expect us to 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 pilot this thing?" Commencing repairs. <laughs> <laughs> and he just goes. He just go, He just goes to work. <laughs> well, he's he's gonna be he's gonna be there for ages. We we can't just let him. Uh, um, I don't think that the the meaning of that was literal. Um, <laughs> it was figurative, if anything. Yeah, and you can see that the the captain's wheel is immaculate. Like the re- everything else is rotting and falling apart, but this captain wheel, pristine condition, exactly the way you remember it. Where are we ge- geographically in Galarian right now? Uh, what region are we in? I think no, we're... said north, north of the shackles. I yeah, think said. north of the shackles. Okay, yeah, north of the shackles. So it's Varicia to Absalom, and then the River Kingdoms. Let's yep. see. Yep. Let's, yeah, it says Boy, open we, the way. We are taking a trip. <laughs> yeah. 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 Woo. Um, yeah. Is... And uh, the other thing is, you notice. I don't know if you can see this on the picture very clearly, but on the captain's wheel, there is a clearly defined north, south, east, west. And oh. also a a swishing kind of like water symbol in the middle. Yeah. It looks like it's pointing a certain direction. I don't know if you can. Yeah, 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 um, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, we we can see that. Uh, so the uh, Henry, knowing that this is like the captain ship and not wanting, you know, he sort of just looks looks at everyone and he's like, "Which which one of us was next for first mate?" Ooh. I mean, I think it's fairly obvious that it was me. No, oh, no, see, see, that's what I thought you would say, and I didn't, I, I didn't like it when you say things like that. All I know is that it wasn't Chop. Checking memory banks. <laughs> First mate was error, error, error. <laughs> All right, so he he agrees with you. <laughs> I would say we could roll some bones and figure it out. Oh, mm. oh, how about this? And then he just runs. <laughs> <laughs> and he just goes over and, and grabs it. Okay, grab the wheel. Fair enough. Is there a check I can do on the wheel? Like, because uh, Belky was just sunk over and used detect magic. Detect magic? Yeah, you can, sense you can the fact that detect it's magic not, on them. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and detect magic in 2E, does it? I think it scales up. Um, yeah, oh. I know if you hold it it's for not a certain amount of time. Oh, it's not heightened. Yeah, because uh, let me hold this should be. Oh, is it, is it heightened every other, I think? Yeah, so I have access to third level spells, so okay. I should be able to, yeah, it should be heightened. You learn the school of magic, and for the highest level effect within range that it detects. If multiple effects are strong, you, GM determines which you, one you learn. Okie dokie. Um, hmm. What kind of magic school would this be? Uh, oh, you said tradition, or? Um, it, it just says you learn which school of magic for school the highest magic. Okay. level. Of okay. Fact. Yeah. So. All right. <clears throat> I would say man uh, oh here we go it would probably be uh, transmutation which you would think maybe that's why it has not seemed to age okay, okay. All right. Um, that's like a weaker one though um, There's multiple ones. Oh boy! Oh boy! Uh, da, 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 da. I don't. Wanna, I don't know where this is from. Yeah. Well, if, if yeah. he if he continues if he continues to concentrate, does it uh does he learn more? I think it's I think it's just transmutation. Actually. Okay. Just transmutation. Right. Yeah, this transmutation. There's a heavy form of transmutation magic coming from this wheel. Uh, identify what it is actually. Hey, okay, so we're north of the shackles. Where's Varicia from here? 
very far north. Okay, so like the other side of the world, basically. <laughs> and then, what was the second one? Absalom, center of the inner sea. Yeah. So, where would we have to go for that? East, north, and east. Turn it east. The wheel. Turn it east. Okay. All right. You turn the wheel east, and then it kind of moves on its own. With even with you holding it, it just moves back north. Oh. Hmm. Can, you, would... can you read? Can you read the, the rail again? Yes. To open the way, you must sail from the home of the pirates to plunder the coasts of Varicia. Return home, but then make your way to Absalom to spend your loot. Finally, follow my dream and sail to the river kingdoms and retire in peace. So, home of the pirates, mm -hmm. coasts of Varicia, return home, Absalom, and then river kingdoms. So do, do, do we think it's directional, and if I turn it in the directions from where we are? You said like north of the shackles right now? Yes. Yeah, draw going south. So, so we need to go south, north, east, north. Okay. So I, I, I do that with the wheel. Uh, as soon as you go south, it automatically goes back north. Hmm. Like without even letting you go. Well, good job. That was stupid. <laughs> uh, do we believe that the home of the pirates is the shackles? I would believe so. <laughs> says, oh, yeah. It says you must sail from the home of the shackles to the coast of Varicia. So it's... So where is Varicia in respect It'd be north. To... It should be south. It'd be north. Yeah. From here, from here, and oh, then yeah. we would sail south from there, mm -hmm. back to south, back to the inner sea, and then east to Absalom, and then from Absalom, the river kingdoms are to the north. So putting that together, you have north, south, east, north. Okay. Huh? So Henry Kneecap Killer. Which direction do you turn the wheel to go north? Do you turn it clockwise or counterclockwise first? I guess I just turn it clockwise. That would that'd be the, the natural thing anyway. Mm. Okay, so you turn the wheel clockwise all the way until north is up again, and the wheel remains slack. So you can continue with the next direction uh, okay Sweet. all right <laughs> all right so next as kelly said was south clockwise or counterclockwise uh now now i have a clue that it's that it like a like a lock so i'm gonna do the other way mm -hmm. oh so. you said you have a clue uh no i i was just saying like 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 with, with this now i'm like oh is yeah. it like a padlock so gotcha. i'm gonna do i'm gonna do counterclockwise so i'm gonna so, alternate yeah okay so counterclockwise okay uh -huh. <clears throat> and you go to the south, it stays slack. Sweet. All right, what do you do for east? Clockwise, counterclockwise? Uh, clockwise. Okay, stays slack. Uh huh. And then what do you do for north again? And then counter. And you go counterclockwise. And Tor, you see that as this motion is completed. Yes. A passage begins to open up inside of a wall. Yes. Warning! Warning! Puzzles. Warning! Warning! You see, y'all just needed me to do something, and there we are. I and would add... like to point out that I I pointed you down the path of logic. <laughs> <laughs> don't you... forget that the the ship's navigator is always uh, always right. <laughs> and as you all. Um, do this unbeknownst while you're so focused on these puzzles, the big loud noise of the ca of the cliff face opening, some vipers get disturbed <gasps> from their nests <gasps> and they go and attack. <laughs> okay. Scott, roll for initiative. <laughs> all right. Uh, <laughs> is, it, is it is it fair to put me where the wheel was? By the way. Yes, it okay. is. Okay. All right. <laughs> 
You don't have to be Ooh, right near them. Right near them. Okay, That's gotcha. Okay. Alright, let me add y'all to the initiative. Uh, Mark, do you, does your initiative happen at the same time? Yeah. Okay, just yeah, making sure. Yeah, I, I share a turn with my iPhone. Very good. Alrighty. Let's see, I want to add it too. There's a third. Alright, we got a full house, some vipers. Which all gonna do about them? I'll see on my turn, but. Hmm? Alright. But do you guys not see anything? Yeah, no, I see. Turn yeah, okay, yeah, we see him, yeah. Cool, 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 cool. Alright. This viper rolled like trash. <laughs> And this viper rolled pretty good. And this little viper said, I want to go wee 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 all the way home. <laughs> yeah, he, he can if he wants. If he wants to go, he can just go. <laughs> you can just uh, sleep. Yeah, just go. I have that one twice. Whoops. All right. <clears throat> all right. So, uh, Jed, what did you get for initiative? 22. Hmm. Uh, what about old Henry? 21. Oh, snap. Oh, yeah. And Belky? Um, 18. 18. Sorry, Chum, I meant to call you by your character name. <laughs> All right. Uh, is that working? I think that's still there. Okay. Yeah, if you hit enter right after you put the number in. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Oh, oh yep, yep, there you go. Okay, so first up... Is your friend and mine Sloan Badmall? It's Sloan Badmall. He's just so happy. He loves violence. <laughs> <laughs> so he is going to move down to where he can get, I don't know, maybe a good cone going. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, boy. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> and he is going to unleash a shotgun blast from oh, his blunderbuss that's going to hit both, actually... I'd have to angle it, because if I tried to hit the third snake, I'd get everyone behind it, and that just wouldn't be okay. So, <laughs> I'm going to angle it so it just hits these two pricks. All right. And I'm going to roll. That was a 19 on the die. Oh, my gosh. Damn. Oh, my that's, gosh. That's probably a crit right out the fucking oh game. Oh, my gosh. Uh, give me the uh, total. Uh, 34. <laughs> Yeah, it's a crit. <laughs> okay, explain to the audience and myself, because I already know exactly how crits work with the gunslinger. Uh, I actually don't know. I've never played gunslinger. Most most guns will have the fatal trait. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Let's see. Does the blunderbuss have a fatal trait? It might not, because it's a um, it's a cone weapon. Let's see. Blunder. It is a cone. Uh, so it has uh, it has concussive and it has the scatter of ten feet. So uh, when determined a creature's resistance or immunity, oh, okay, that that doesn't matter here. Uh, so it would just be times two. Okay. It looks times like times two. That works. Twenty points of damage to both of the little pricks. So that's doubled. That is already doubled. Okay. To very good. And did you count your did you get oh, any plus, extra bonuses? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so 22. 22, okay. Ooh. You double the splash damage? I think you do. The splash damage? Sorry. Yeah, from the scatter. From the scatter. You, you, you did, uh, do you have a striking weapon? Yes. So you, get, you did two points of splash? Yeah, so that's four points of splash then? Yeah, I think it'd be four, four points of splash. 24 okay. points of damage. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the two vipers uh, in front of you, they are... Dead. They're not dead, but they are like... They're basically limp. Oh, they, like, well, the, oh the that's first one, right. The, the first one takes 24 damage. The other one takes four damage. Oh. Uh, that's how it works. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, okay, the blunder okay, blast okay. does it, it does its full damage to the primary, and then it does splash damage to everybody in the cone. God, that's you. perfectly fair. Okay. But that I'm going sense. to use my last action to shove 
this uh, snake into the water using my Vanguard Gunslinger ability. Oh, oh. path. So I'm going to shove you. So this is my athletics versus the snake boys. Not the best roll, nine on the die for 24. Uh, yeah, you get it. <laughs> so he's knocked 10 feet back and I get to reload for free. All right, uh, so this snake paw splashes into, the, I'm gonna say splashes into the water and he just kind of scurries away. Kasploosh. <laughs> so fuck this guy. <laughs> Ow. Hi. How the hell was that? <laughs> I was expecting uh, guns. <laughs> do you got any more you gotta do, Sloan? <laughs> nope, that was three actions, a moved, a shot, and a shoved. Perfect. All right. The furtive. Furtive. Will draw his rapier, a uh, pistol with one action. And then you see him just, like, wind it up and, like, and, and like, kind of, like, does a spirally motion up by his head as, as a boats of flame begin to... Uh, circle the blade, the blade and gun, as he will do a spell strike with the rapier portion, and that will be twenty nine to hit. That's a crit. Oh, Ooh, these so things they got so nothing critical. on us. <laughs> oh um, shit! Yeah, I thought there'd be a challenge, so... Tim. <laughs> uh, careful there, what you don't, what you ask for, Jim. I, I'm, I'm not afraid of anything. So, because I'm a magus, I uh, am doing spell strike, which is two actions. So I will get all of my weapon damage and all of my spell damage, which was produced flame, and I will double all of it. Oh my gosh. <laughs> snake's dead as fuck. Yeah. Get him, get him. He's quite barbecued. <laughs> and I will eat him afterwards. Yes. You were the ship's cook, right? Because you just cooked everything you killed. It was pe- it was very efficient. It was fucking it was fucking beautiful to watch you work. <laughs> All right. Just so many dice. I know, right? All right. A lot of uh, so I will take. So it will take twenty six piercing and Ooh. fire damage, and then three persistent fire damage. Well, no persistent because it is severely barbecued. It actually is just turned to ash. We can't eat this. <laughs> right, oh, we're th- doing all the fucking damage. Get in the fight. <laughs> I just like stab it straight down through his mouth and just like skewer it like a barbecue and then it just oh, disintegrates oh. on my blade. <laughs> no, eating snakes is fun. He's just like eliminated. <laughs> uh, was, that your, was that your whole turn there, Cal? Yeah, I had to draw my. I had to draw gotcha. my, my Beautiful. All right, Chum. Chum will step forward here, one space, and you see his trusty clockwork companion MR or RM80 uh, appear. It kind of climbs up onto his shoulder as he looks down and says, "Activating volley protocol." And you see from his arm. A striking hand cannon covered in runes comes out of his arm, and a small Derringer pistol comes out of the monkey's mouth as they both will fire. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love this guy. <laughs> Hang on, I'm rolling here. All right. Uh, for the striking hand cannon first, 20 to hit. Bad hits. All right. That's going to be 10 damage. All right. And now for the monkey. <laughs> and now for the monkey. And now the monkey. <laughs> Going to use his projectile launcher, but in for, for my head cannon, it's a it's a little Derringer pistol that yeah, pops out of yeah. his mouth. Kaboom! <laughs> <laughs> that's only going to be a sixteen. Ah, oh, that's a miss. All right, that's all right. All right, and that will be my turn. <laughs> Monkey's a little rusty. <laughs> <laughs> it's a rusty uh, monkey. Rusty monkey. <laughs> Sounds like a beer. That's, that's definitely a drink <laughs> that's somewhere. Yeah, that's yeah, definitely a drink. It's a bar. The rusty a bar. monkey. Yeah, rusty hey, monkey. Uh, hey, bartender, bartender. Can I get a rusty monkey? Thank you. <laughs> rusty monkey. <laughs> round of rusty monkeys for me. Round of rusty for the boys. <laughs> After a long day of killing snakes, I just want a fucking rusty monkey. <laughs> I think it's a bar only androids and uh, clockwork. 
<laughs> Android <laughs> only bar. <laughs> oh my gosh. Uh, we don't serve right. meat bags. <laughs> <laughs> That's offensive, my friend. That is hurtful. <laughs> There's muscle in here. Uh, uh, okay. All right, Henry, you're up. It's fine, yeah. Uh, I'm going to be like, oh shit, snakes! And I'm going to uh, take a step back and draw my gun and fire with it. Uh, so I have uh, this super long <laughs> rifle that I'm going to just go boom out at this thing. Uh, how does a uh, how's a twenty three hit you? Oh yeah, that hits me. All right. So this is going to be two d eight. Uh. That is 12 damage, but uh, I also have something called One Shot, One Kill. Your first shot is the deadliest. Uh, when I interact to draw a firearm or crossbow on your first turn, uh, your first strike with that weapon deals an additional 1d6 precision damage. Oh, shit. Oh, that's tasty. So uh, it only goes up by two, so 14 okay. points of piercing damage. You are really close to one shot, one and killing this. Uh, not quite. Aye. Uh right. And that's all I was able to do. Oh, wait. On your first turn. Uh, uh, oh, no. Okay. Yep. That. Yeah, that's all. That's all I was able to do. All right. That takes us to Belky. <laughs> I was Just... really hoping to end this combat before he had a turn. It's a shame. Shut up. Uh, Shut up. And for a, sec for a second, he points the gun at Sloan, and he's like, ah. He's just twitching. <laughs> His hand's just twitching. Fine. Fine. I'll do it. I'll do I it. I could do it. I could do it right now. <laughs> yeah. So Belki is just kind of like watching these snakes getting like shot, destroyed, one barbecued. And then he just looks at the one below and just uh, using his act together with tandem, uh, it just takes a step back. And then his <laughs> just steps up and just claw swipes. And if you notice his, like, hands, they're just covered in barnacles. Oh, and so he just... That's gnarly. <laughs> so this thing just walks up silently, just, like, punches down at this thing. And, oh my god, that's a 19 on the die. Oh, Let's go. Uh, that crit. is a... Yeah, that's that's a 19, but that's a, a 19... Uh, 33 to hit. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Cool. Yeah, that's a crit. So, Tell me how you finish <laughs> off this last snick. So he, he just straight up just takes this huge metal hand and just like punches it straight down. It just like lifts his hand back up and it's just blood smeared on the barnacles and stuff like oh that. This gosh. thing's pulverized. <laughs> and you can and see the barnacles, they like pulsate a little bit because they're alive. Yep. As they drink in the blood from the viper mm -hmm. and it has perished. Um, and you guys have just been kind of like, you know, shooting up this you know, sinking, moldering ship. So I'm going to need y'all to uh, make some reflex saves to kind of <laughs> bail out of here. Oh, no. Fuck. Fuck. Well, I would love to ask the question, how did we lose the fight in the beginning of this campaign? Because we're a fucking unit. I know. <laughs> That's roll for both. Imagine Bill's, uh, <laughs> Bill's uh, audio on is like, a big daddy from uh that's freaking oh, yeah. bioshock yes. yeah, oh yeah. So yes, you got a mount, you got, you got a mount a drill hand on one right i was really tempted to do a big daddy i was like yeah, <laughs> i really wanna but drill isn't something i can do so sloan got yeah, nat 20 so he very good. gracefully gets to shore easily um so uh, to, uh, I'm, uh 23 for henry Yep, you make it to shore just fine. 20 for Belky Tw and 18 for the Eidolon. Yep, both make it to shore. 22 for... Shit. Chum, Chum got a 15. Uh oh. The uh, ship is ours, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so Chum, um, let's see. Uh, as the wood oh, kind of like, I guess I feel like I'm, in my head cannon, Chum didn't even try to leave. Um, <laughs> yeah, he thinks he won the ship. He's, he's, like, he's that? sinking into the water <laughs> with his thumb up. Uh, Just, he, he starts goodbye, moving Chum. To, he starts moving to go below deck. I'll get the rum. <laughs> <laughs> goodbye, and Chum. He's a fucking hero. <laughs> he didn't even try to get out. 
And and as as Chum has the has the surprisingly still sealed barrel of rum in his arm, uh, he's gonna take oh gosh, um, he's gonna take twelve points of bludgeoning oh, damage. Oh my as god! He, Ow. As, as he gets as he gets um, careened to shore. Ow! Um, Ow, ow, ow. The ship is deadly. That, that was a fucking beautiful sure. sacrifice, mate. Can I get that barrel? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hit, hit, hit. Yes, the rum barrel is intact perfectly. No damage sustained. All Charles right. Sustained all the damage. All right, slow, slow, slowly lower it sl- <laughs> to, the, to, the sand, it. to the sand. To the sand. Thank you. I protected it with my life. <laughs> Thank God you, bless really. you for that. You see the beautiful thing here is, Henry, there's only me, you, and the uh, other uh, summoner chum whose name I can't remember. We don't have to share it with the other two. <laughs> Feel free to uh, drink, but I do not drink rum. Meat bags. Oh, you're a weird devices. pirate, friend. Am I right, chum? <laughs> of a wine person. Yes, they do drink alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> they drink oil. <laughs> Uh, and, uh, All right, let's actually move on <laughs> farther into this. That's good. That's good. Uh, you guys, the just banter's see, too uh, fun, guys. I know. The banter's yeah, too fun. Just, I know. Just a choice. Um, yeah. So the the rest of the brass bird just kind of slowly just kind of sinks further into the into the inlet, as its remains have reached its final resting place. Would Pouring the wheel out. be detachable? By the way, just curious. Is the wheel detachable? I mean, you could go and retrieve it if you'd like. So and yes. every sitting there saluting, and then he sees and nobody else is doing it. He's like, "What the hell?" <laughs> yeah, you just see the the suit of armor just running down there and just yanks the wheel. <laughs> yep. That's it. Comes I had a up. swim speed. No, no, no bait. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> he just marches in, comes back out. It's the magic that comes out of the water. You're here. <laughs> I will say, it's very sad to watch the old girl go down, but I am a reformed pirate, and I am done with my pirating ways, and if I'm lying, may God strike me dead. I, I step away, <laughs> assuming he's lying. <laughs> Before he just steps away. <laughs> go on, get step him. Away. Get him. Now let's go underground so lightning can't hit me. All right, Sloan, get in there. Get in. There. Get in. All and right. See, and you see Kahlo kind of takes the lead as he fluttered as he fluttered from the wreck. This way. Chain lightning. <laughs> <laughs> this right. bird's been a bastard the whole time. <laughs> I like the bird. <laughs> okay. ah, Sloan's no longer in a candidate for first mate. <laughs> <laughs> now that is hurtful. By the way, another thing about Sloan and why he talks this way, his nose has been broken so many times he can't breathe out of it. Nice. Yeah. Love it. <laughs> so he breathes like a pug. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he got no sense of smell. Oh gosh, it must be terrible to like sleep in the same room as him. Oh, it's awesome. Oh, it's, it's oh, the worst. Terrible. Terrible. I, hate, imaginable. I hate it so much. And Sloan. yet you're still here. Sloan, yes. would you like me to make you a prosthetic for your nose? That is a novel idea, my friend. You feel free to try that. Do it, but make it enormous. Very well. <laughs> Speaking of which, I have things to hand out to us before we continue. Oh, little oh. goodies. He, like, slowly reaches into his bags, and um, uh, Chum is actually an inventor who took the feat uh, Gadget... What is it? What is it called? Uh, gadget Creator or something along those lines. I'm trying to find it on my list. An automaton here. that can create? Basically. <laughs> yes, yes. A gadget, gadget specialist, which allows me to create two gadgets during my daily preparations. That nice. I can give. I feel I like give. Chum is going to eventually rule the world. <laughs> <laughs> so Chum Not with his reflexes, but yeah. uh, step away, Nix. Yeah, Chum gives. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm terrible with names, so you're gonna have to bear with me. Jake, your character. What was your character's name again? I'm sorry. Henry. Uh, Henry. Yeah, he walks up to Henry and he gives him a pair of boots that have two giant thrusters attached to it. <laughs> 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 he goes. Right. He goes. Here, these are for you. When you need to get up to somewhere higher than your current stature. Oh, hey. Oh, well, you know, you don't know any better. That's fine. <laughs> and then he walks over, and then he'll walk over to, um, he'll walk over to, I gotta think about this for a second here. Um, yeah, he'll walk over to, um, to Sloan, and he'll go, he'll say, uh, say uh hold still chum 
Bear hold still, Simone. And he it's will... a very strange request. We're in the middle of a cave. Uh, and he will start attaching what appears to be some sort of uh, apparatus to your chest that's got little suction cups that are attached to little muscle groups on you. Um, I don't know how to feel about this. I'm not going to lie. No, just let it happen. Let it happen. Just hold still. Just hold still. When you need to move faster, press this button. Not going to lie. I'm all about that shit. I'm on board. That's all you uh, need to say. Just say you want to move faster. Just don't start attaching shit. (laughs) (laughs) I'm sorry. Social protocols are still difficult. That's coming with Windows 11. <laughs> um, so yeah, so just when when you when you use that, let me know because I have to roll a crafting check. Oh, oh, no. oh boy! <laughs> nice. Well, Sloan um, loves to move fast, so. <laughs> and then he will also hand off one more thing. Um, yes, he will give. <laughs> he approaches. Um, I'm sorry, Kelly. What was the name again? For your character? Defertive. Defertive. Okay, yeah, he approaches. Defertive. Lefertive. <laughs> With an L, okay. And he hands you a cognitive mutagen. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and he goes, d- 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 Here, that- I use these for when things get confusing. Perhaps you could also use one. Oh, he thinks you're stupid. <laughs> I will choose to ignore the slight. Thank you, chum. I think he was actually trying to be endearing. You're very welcome. Make sure you you have one for yourself. (laughs) I always make two in the morning. (laughs) This cup of coffee. (laughs) My God. It's beautiful. It's just like the old days. They just. It's magical. Friendship <laughs> is truly magic. I don't know much about magic. I am more of a hands-on kind of automaton. <laughs> automaton. Jeez. You know, Chum. I don't think I don't think there's an equivalent, Chum. Hey, Henry. How would you get an automaton laid? I don't know, attach a big one to the two. I to lay down boy. sometimes when I need to go in standby mode. That's what I'm talking about. We gotta. <laughs> we right. lost a lot. <laughs> well, anyways. Oh no. I, be- I, be- I believe Chum was not ever equipped with that add on. Well, that's just a bloody shame. Why would you bring a life in the world without that? That's just cruel. Cruel, sad. Mm. All right. So, anyways, the past should be up. Beyond the trapped himself. Perhaps if someone could show me a model, perhaps I could. <laughs> I'll draw the one highest, up later. The highest class of humor. I'm mm. sorry. Dick tanks and robots. God, we are truly children. love death and robots, skit. <laughs> Has this already become our favorite one shot or stream game? It might be. It might be. <laughs> Look at all these goddamn wankers. I'm the only one prepared to go ahead. Well, <laughs> oh, what a shame. Well, this is why Captain made me first mate. <laughs> it's a shame he didn't have that message saved. Speaking of add-ons, does everybody have a <laughs> fragment? Yes. Oh, um. Okay. All right, I'm done handing out gifts. Let's get back to the <laughs> Oh, but the third of you're talking oh. about the you talk about map fragments. Yes, I appear to have one of the top corner of some sort of map. Oh yeah, I've got a bit of a middle piece. I got a left middle piece. And, and you... I've got this one. Uh, would you like me to read what's on the back of mine? And you all put it together. Oh, never mind. Oh, this. Oh, cool. Ba, 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 ba. Da, 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 da. Son of it's a gun. So, it's so funny because in the bottom right corner, there's a little thing that says, begin your journey going with the tide, then against, with, and finally against. Uh, Jake, you just did that by accident. Oh, didn't even the, need that the, clue. The steering wheel. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. mm. 
I just love you're just like, oh, let's go clockwise. And then this is like a lock. So we'd go counter. They clockwise. They counter. I'm like, wow. Like, <laughs> I mean, the natural know, thing is to go logic. clockwise anyway. So. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. In a separate universe where, you know, maybe I, you know, somebody played this again. Yeah, that's, they figured it out just like that. <laughs> I know. It's, it's beautiful. It's beautiful. Um, can you, you guys can scroll down and see like the clues written out in plain yes. text, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah, perfect. Yep. We can say that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Let me show the, let me show the everyone at home. Yep. There you go. Yeah, so yeah, mine 15. was the piece about how the most wealthy will come last, which I don't get. <laughs> I believe that's the clue that you have to spend your money at Absalom. <laughs> Lost at sea, remember that one, that the one that is worth the most will always go last. Hmm. So as you all that's ponder, poetic. It is. As you all ponder your clues that you have, you see the passageway beyond the hidden door ascends at an incline a few feet above the high tide line of the cove before leveling off. The passage ends in a short set of stairs that descend towards a large chamber lit only by vine-choked cracks in the ceiling above. So it's a dim light situation? Uh, uh, lighting is fine. Lighting is fine, good. Yep. Thanks, Tim. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And you can see some more this place do, 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 do. alright <clears throat> the rough hewn chamber has fallen into disrepair the western wall has collapsed partially and dirt rock and plant debris litter the floor nearly obscuring a large <coughs> leaf pattern made from green quartz the tip of this leaf ends in a brackish pool of water Rising up from the water is a mold-encrusted stone statue of a woman who appears to emerge from a wave with seaweed for hair and her arms held high in supplication to the sky above. A faint clicking and rustling sound can be heard from the collapsed wall, but its source is not immediately apparent. The pattern of the floor, um, <clears throat> as Belki would know, is the holy symbol of Gazra, a nature deity whose fury is unleashed upon both the sea and the sky. Honest sailors, hopeful merchants, and greedy pirates all give offerings to this powerful deity, whose fickle favor can mean the difference between triumph and disaster on the high sea. The statue standing in the brackish pool is another representation of the god, who is typically seen in one of two forms, either as a woman rising from the sea or a weathered old man emerging from a storm cloud. This statue is the former representation, although many of its features are obscured by mold and vines growing out of the pool. What do you do? Well, look at the clue map fag fragment that was mine, and yep. where it said, make an offering to, make an offering to Gazra, but be prepared to face the storm's wrath. Oh, all right. So gonna face some clouds or something, or that uh, lightning bolt that's supposed to probably come down and strike. <laughs> I would like to investigate the clicking. I would like to help him if I can. And I'll, I'll take point to have like an eye on them, like as they go up. You know what I mean, Tim? Mm-hmm. Okay. All right, who is investigating the clicking? Affirmative. Okay, we'll go ahead and roll me perception. Uh, I can aid. Yeah, you can definitely aid. Yeah, I'll aid as well. Okay. I succeeded on your aid, Kelly. DC, DC 50. Oh, <laughs> DC what? DC what, Tim? <laughs> do, you, do you aid, Mark? I do not. Okay, right, so sorry. that'll be tw 20, 24. 24. <clears throat> Okie dokie. Yeah, sorry, I froze for a second. I don't know if you saw, um, but I'm back now. Okay. Okay, with the 24, um, you can definitely tell that there are creatures on the other side of this um, unstable looking wall. And um, as you guys kind of move up, um, <clears throat> somewhat carelessly, I might add, um, you could feel like you're starting to garner its attention. So unless you change how you are approaching forward, do you think that you might get their attention even more? Uh, Sloane will reach out and grab the furtive 
and try to pull him back. Hard, hard, hard. <laughs> Nobody move. <laughs> I use the bolt action on my rifle. The chum from his back, he pulls out what appears to be a shoulder-mounted slingshot. <laughs> kind of like mm. the... Uh, the the t the big boys from uh, Fallout you ever seen oh, the, the fat oh the fat oh boys. fat yeah. man fat, it looks fat, like yeah. a fat man, fat and, man it's, yeah. and 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 he slowly starts putting something you really want to it. describe a fat man as a slingshot <laughs> well it's 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 a it's it's not as intricate as obviously as a fat man no but it's, it's it's a shoulder mounted slingshot basically yeah. <laughs> that launches many nukes in Fallout well, all right boys we have to deal with the clue and we have to deal with that what do you want to deal with first. Well, it's going to be hard to deal with the clue if there's something attacking us. Yes. All right, so I go balls to the wall and get shit done. What do you want to do? Um, can I look for... Can I look for traps or something real quick? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. I'll try to aid, but I don't think I'm going to be able to help you much here. Yeah, that's a fail. Hmm. I aid. Okay. Ah, uh, you don't see any traps. Um, did you see that the wall to the west looks very precarious? Not that it would um, hurt you, but that it could um, be broken down kind of easily. Quite easily, actually. This wall is unstable, there's clear, and there's clearly some movement behind it. The furtive will take a step towards the, the pond. And he will load, he will draw his rapier pistol. Um, Would you like to see what is on the other side of the wall? As he slowly starts pointing this this launcher at the at the wall. Oh no! <laughs> Easy there, chum. Easy there, boy. It's hold it up. All right. Uh, Henry takes cover and he goes, "Yeah, yeah, do it, do it, do it." Do it. <laughs> okay, fucking a. <laughs> um. I guess uh, Chum and Bill uh, keep an eye on this nope. wall. Whoops. Yes. I did not mean to do that. Nope, oh, I will hide it. Oh, I'll, I'll, see I'll, I'll hide it from the viewer. Don't what? see. Thank you. Thank you. I didn't Whoopsies. see anything. Whoops. Whoop. What? <laughs> <laughs> any any ideas on the, on the offering to Gazra? Uh, what, what, what's, like. Yeah, what, what do they like again? Um, they like uh, fish. Uh, they like um, uh, ocean salt. Everybody what do got all... salt. Hey, what do all gods love? Blood. Money. Oh. <laughs> Prayers. <laughs> Fucking money. Undying fealty. Sacrifices. Money. Sacrifices. <laughs> I've said it twice already, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Blood and money. All right, Sloan, uh, go, go up there, hold a gold coin, I'll shoot your head off. You will, you will take care, take care to the wall. The furtive will, uh, will walk around to the statue. All right, so you guys are just walking, right? Yep. Care, carefully walking. <laughs> Tim like was really, really, really right. we're walking, <laughs> but <All> carefully. Right. <laughs> well, y'all, I gave you guys so many chances. Y'all never said you snuck, so nope. uh, the wall is gonna burst open as um, giant ants start pouring <laughs> through. Oh my gosh! Uh, uh, can I? Can I? Do an action as I see that, or we gotta roll initiative. Never mind. Yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> Tell me, can, can you shift Z yeah. on that for me? <laughs> oh yeah. I want to. I want to let people. Ah, my oh. lord, that is. Oh wait, wait, wait. I might so have a scary. handout. The handout's even better. Oh yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. Let's yeah. do the handout. See if we can. Oh, oh, oh no. Horrifying. Oh, oh, they're very. Oh, look at those giant mandibles. Perfect to put my gun right up in their face. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, how are you guys walking? Carefully. Hmm. <laughs> We'd be walking in reverence. <laughs> walking in reverence. All right. Initiative. Yep. Yep. Um, clearing it out. You guys can oh, see Oh, that it. was a shit roll, unfortunately. Better roll than yours. <laughs> Suck it. Hmm. 
I will suck nothing. <laughs> You'll suck these bullets. All right, I want to die. <laughs> Yeah, absolute garbage roll from your boy Sloan. Ah, uh, your boy. <laughs> your boy Sloan. Your boy yeah, Sloan. Boy let's be Sloan. honest. Back at it again. <laughs> it's your boy Sloan back at it again. Make sure to like and subscribe. <laughs> Fuck off! I'm already a fan favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! These ants are. Rolling like trash. Good. Uh, yeah, that's fine. So, no, I don't want another combat where y'all just kill all of them before they go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, God forbid. Oh, no. Uh, all right, chum. What'd you get? Oh, 23. 23. Uh, Henry. Uh, Henry got a... Let's do my math here. There's a 19 on the die for oh, cool. a 31. Jeez. You know, out of everyone... Henry was actually ready. I, think I, I did have my gun. Any, yeah. I think, I think this is as good a time as any to let the viewers know that we are going to be using some of these streams to stretch out some of the, the uh, variant rules yep. mm -hmm. for Pathfinder. Yep. So in this iteration, in this one shot, we are actually all using the variant rule for stamina points, which is uh, almost ide almost identical to the Starfinder stamina uh, rules. It's a little bit different. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, we have a pool of stamina points um, and then a pool of hit points. And uh, it's basically kind of split between, it kind of splits uh, the normal rules for hit points. Uh, so we have stamina points that uh, regenerate after a 10 minute rest. And we have normal hit points that still basically represent our, our actual life force. Um, and those are those could be healed by magical means. But stamina points can only be healed by resting and the steal your resolve feat, which uh, we have given all of us for free because it's kind of a no brainer to take. Yeah, yeah. Uh, um, but yeah, so rather than having like fifty hit points or forty five hit points, we have like twenty five hit points and like twenty five stamina points instead, uh, based on our levels. Yep. Um, so, so once things start time. really getting bad, it sticks. Oh yeah. Yeah. Find me yeah. Again, I guess I don't have it on my screen here. How do you calculate your resolve again? You have four. Yeah. You have yep. Four. Okay. I'm just curious. Oh, it's a shame they're all in such a lovely cluster. It's a shame our old like dog shit. <laughs> yeah. The, 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 the key difference between this and Starfinder is Starfinder has more has like uh, system uses for resolve beyond just stamina. Mm -hmm. So you can get more resolve in Starfinder because you're using them for like abilities and skills yeah. and feats and stuff. Uh, in this one, it's just, I think you just get four. That's it. Yeah, gotcha. Yeah. So yeah. But so, yeah, that's we're, what we're doing. Yeah, we're, we're pretty much playing the run and gun. That's, uh, that, that, that's how this entire one shot's gonna be. So mm -hmm. that's Fast fine, action, lots of shooting. clash, my boy. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> All right, so speaking of the gun, we got Henry Decap Killer Goodwart. What you got? Lots of ants. There's lots of ants. Um, there are two people in front of me, which I'm not a fan of for the cover. So can I see this guy over here at the sort of the top right of the cluster there freely? Yes. Okay. I am going to take my first shot at him. Uh, a 14 on the die for a 30 total. That's a crit. That's a crit. Oh, okay, this, yeah, we got this. All right. <laughs> Gunslingers, they just crit so easily. Uh, so that's that, and then an additional d6. So 10, 20, and I believe uh, it's fatal for another d12. So hold on. That precision damage is double two. Uh, yeah, yeah, I've already doubled that. So, t t uh, so 24. Were your, what? Were your initial dice d12s? Uh, oh no, no, that's right. Sorry, let me. Let, yeah, oh, yes. fatal that's increases right. your base damage dice and gives you an extra damage dice. Oh, this is some good one. ass damage. Oh, so oh yeah, oh, yeah. So, so 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 it goes to three d twelve. Three d twelve. Double. Yes. Let's go. Yeah, fatal is like the crazy the crazy trait because deadly is an extra damage die of the listed amount. Fatal yeah. is an extra damage dice of the listed amount, and your base dice go up to that to that dice. Uh, so Timmy, I mean. One that's shot. 
24 doubled to, uh, so... <laughs> so 48. To 48? Is that right? Squat. <laughs> yeah. Well. Uh, okay. Uh, uh, I knew I could shout on you, Henry. <laughs> Shut up. Uh, I was being encouraging. I was trying to be nice. <laughs> what? Okay, what are the freaking chances that was the ant that rolled well? Good. Pretty good. See, I saw Henry. him, and I said no. Yeah. You don't double. You don't double the extra d12. Just so you know. Oh, you okay. Only, you well, still do, you still only double your base d12. Uh, I think uh, two, so. It's two d12 doubled, and then an extra d12. Is how it actually works, but you probably still killed him. I mean, plus so, your precision da- plus your precision damage. Yeah, I mean, yeah. It, yeah, it still would have been twenty. <laughs> yeah, it, yeah. I, I yeah. mean, it's not much less to be honest. I mean, he can um, only do it once in the combat too. So yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, okay, so that was my first shot. So then I'm going to run here and then use an action to do to take cover and reload at the same time. Okay. So he sort of dives and then immediately just starts putting putting uh, put, putting, a, putting a, another pellet and. Uh, gunpowder into his uh, into his gun nice nice <clears throat> now does does taking like cover have to be like you have to specifically take cover on around something or so no, that's the thing with... uh i have covered reload so it says you duck into a safe position or minimize your profile while reloading to ah, uh, to make your okay. next attack so okay. yeah. so it's, I, I, it's I'm, like... just, I, I'm just trying to take cover behind whatever it's this thing is over dude. here are you talking about the thing in the middle? Yeah, yeah. Oh, so. that is uh, that's on the ground. Oh, it's on the it's, ground. Yeah, it's an emblem. It's not a. Uh, oh, I'm gonna take cover by Sloan then. Yeah, 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 take cover by me. <laughs> it's it's the exact Perfect. same thing as like I can shove and reload in the same action. Yeah, it's like every, yeah. everything yeah. is like a double. Yeah. It's like, what are you doing? I'm invisible. Don't look at me. <laughs> <laughs> get get him, Sloan. Get him. All right. Next is the furtive. All right, the furtive. Rapier pistol in hand, he looks. He looks back to slow, and he's like, "Why were your clumsy? Why were your clumsy feet following me?" <laughs> and then he whips yeah, around. Blame the guy giving you support, <laughs> you prick. <laughs> I told you to stay put. No, you didn't. <laughs> Rah, he actually did. did. <laughs> well, I choose your voice of the GM. No, nope, after, after, after scolding the bad maw, he he whips his pistol around, wreathed wreathed in flames, fires at the the next the next ant over. Got it. That will be twenty five to hit. That's a hit. Right. Guys are just never gonna miss. <laughs> There's really good to hit. We have yeah. really good to hit. Yeah. So that'll be the team, uh, 18 damage. All right. It looks pretty messed up, but it's still kicking. Shot off a couple legs. And then with his last action, he will go into his arcane stance. His arcane casta- cascade. Mm-hmm. Nice. Oh, oh, wait! I got one more. I got one oh. more d4 damage. Okay. Extra two damage. Sorry. Nice. More, nice. a little more fire damage. From the fire heart on his on his uh, pistol. And the red ant burns a little. <laughs> uh, chum. It wasn't a fire ant. <laughs> <laughs> like from Fallout. <laughs> they breathe fire. Like, the ants that breathe fucking Stupid. fire <laughs> Stupid. I hate it. All right, so Chum will shoulder his um his bomb launcher, oh. loaded with an alchemist fire. But before he fires, he goes activating animal cruelty exe <laughs> targeting, <laughs> and his laser Jeez. and his eyes start to glow as a targeting laser comes out of his eyes and he goes power supply above parameters and it starts to do actual damage as he uses his energy beam ability oh my gosh which is a 1d4 let's fucking go yes like, are we playing pathfinder anymore <laughs> yes this is pathfinder by the way for anyone watching this is pathfinder 
All right, 25 to hit. Oh, yeah, that hits. And that will do six points of uh, fire damage. As the one right in front, right? Yeah, this is the one right in the okay. middle. And he as it, he's thinking it's his targeting laser, but it actually does damage. And then he fires his alchemist fire. Let me roll to hit here. Just take them all out. 21. That's a hit. All right. And yep. that will do 1d8 to the whole bunch, I think. Um, oh, good shit. No, 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 oh. it's, never mind, that's, it's, let me read again, let me double check, sorry, make sure. I'm yeah, it should be 1d8 I think it's, primary. no, it's one, spl it's one fire, yeah. it's one, yeah, so it's 1d8 to the one I shot, so that's gonna be two points of damage, of fire damage, okay. one persistent fire damage to him. Okay. And then one's fire splash damage to the rest of them. Okay. Like, all the rest? Yeah. Wow. Jeez. Still really good, goodness. Yeah. Yeah. And then he will retreat. <laughs> Smart. Right, since the bad boy's on fire. <clears throat> All right. Chum retreats, and now it's Belky. Okay. Belky is going to take an action to pull out his yeah, crossbow. And his Eidolon will, will just stomp forward over here and just strike out at this amp with his large meaty claws meaty claws large uh, meaty, meaty claws. claws oh no <laughs> back why'd you roll I think Spongebob is the most quoted thing on our entire network <laughs> it really is I, I really it should think, be, <laughs> I, it I should mean, be. there's nothing wrong with that <laughs> so that is a 16 on the die which is going to be quite painful um, that'd be a 30 that's a crit. Beautiful. That oh is 2d8 damage here. Woo! He is big, meaty. That's a six. That's a six? Fuck yeah. Six oh. plus four, so that's 12 plus four. Uh, 16. So that'd be 32 points of damage. As Squish. he just runs up and just punches this thing and just caves in its head. Oh my gosh. <sighs> that's beautiful. And that's all he can do. Yep. I was... I, I'm learning Summoner right now, and it's like, it's neat because you have to work in tandem with your Eidolon, but mm -hmm. it's not like you get three actions and it gets three actions. No, you gotta share all your actions. Yep. No, yeah, it would it'd be, it'd be overpowered if you both got Yeah, because essentially <laughs> you're... Actions. Six yeah, like, actions, yeah, a bit, yeah. A bit much. <laughs> yeah, because I picked the warrior construct, so mm. my strength is at 19. <laughs> God damn! Jesus. He's a beast. He's jacked. He's he's a jacked suit of uh, armor. Yeah, we're walking around with a forklift, is what you're telling us. Right, yeah. Right, right. Oh yeah. No, he's a treasure diver. So yeah. that's fine. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. No, he he goes underwater, picks up shit. Makes sense. Uh, so this giant ant scurries forward uh, to the hulking mass, and it's gonna. So one action that. Uh, next action, it's gonna grab out with its little mandibles. Uh, 28 to hit. That's not a crit. Whew. And... It still hurts, though. Oh, max damage. Uh, so 12 points of damage. And Jeez. with its last action, it grabs you. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and it, 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 it doesn't have the action economy, but you, like, your Eidolon can feel like it's starting to try to pull it away. It can try. <laughs> <laughs> can <laughs> certainly try. <laughs> uh, next is Mr. Badmall. All right. Well, one thing's for sure. Is the area in the pool considered difficult terrain? Uh, the pool is right here. And this what is, is this? just a, this is just a, like a design on the floor. Oh, it's not water's pouring into it? No. That's what is, I it like, it is it like ankle deep water maybe or something like that? Maybe? I don't think so. I'm going to look up the description. I'm pretty sure it's I don't deep. believe it is. Okay, well, yeah. Whatever whatever you say, you say it is, Tim. Yeah, that's what it is. Okay. So, there are many things true about Sloan Badmaw, but one thing is, is that it's never been a scab, a vagabond, or even a scallywag better at clearing a deck than him. So he leaps through this area 
using his first movement increment to get here. <laughs> oh, fuck. And he is going to rain hell down on these motherfuckers. Oh, my gosh. So he's going to fire and hit every single one. The first one is going to be his primary target. The other ones are going to get splash damage. Got it. Nice. Who would win? A bunch of right fire off. ants or one big orc with a tube? <laughs> <laughs> one big orc with a tube. Um... Uh, three, twenty-eight. That is a crit. I got fucking bonuses, motherfucker. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, I will I will save you a lot of math. Just uh, give me the splash damage for the others, because this this little guy is that's, squish. <laughs> it was a crit. That's that's four damage on everything other than nice. my mate. Right. And as my last action, uh, since everything is uh, appeared to be dead and I can't move up to shove, I will. This is something that Sloane can do since he took a feat. He is going to use the parry action, mm. which gives plus two to his AC since he's wielding a two handed gun. Whoa. Oh, nice. That's really cool. Yeah, that's awesome. I made a big boom. Hopefully they come to me. I mean, your wish is my command as this ant scurries forward. Does he take his tries. persistent fire damage here? Uh, the the one that I was taking persistent, um, that one died. Oh, he died. Oh, that okay. one yeah. died. Yeah, it's the one with the dot. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. okay. I, thought, I thought the dot was hanging underneath it. My bad. Yeah. Are oh, you good? All right, so this little guy. Uh, man, 28 to hit. Damn. 28 to hit? Yep. Yep, that's a hit. Uh, not max this time. It's so only eight points of damage. And he grabs you. Oh, no. So you grabbed. Whoa. If only Delta. I didn't have a shotgun. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So a couple people wrestling some giant ants, and we're back to Henry. All right. Henry's seeing uh, this poor, this poor weak little man, Sloan getting grappled by this nefarious ant. He's going to take a shot at the one grappling Sloan. And it's going to be uh, 19 to hit. That's a hit. All right. Cool. Uh, 2d8. Come oh, my God. Two. Oh, oh God. That is so unfortunate. There's a 1-1 uh, one, one on 2d8. <laughs> you shoot off the tip of one of its, like, antenna. Okay. <laughs> uh, get a uh, one action reload, last action shoot with the minus five. So yep. try again. Okay, that's fine for 29. That's Damn. That's a crit. Okay. Yeah, just wipe this thing out. First shot goes, he's like... Henry, fucking do your job. Stop moving. <laughs> I uh, can't. I'm grabbed. <laughs> uh, so that is going to be 19 points of damage on, on the on the second one. 19. Just... Okay, so that's after you're doubled and stuff. Uh, no, no, sorry. N n not, n well, all right. So, so with with fatal, everything goes to a everything goes to a to a to a d12, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So you did your D12s, you doubled it, and then you added that extra D12. Uh, so... Oh, wait, sorry. Let me... 15, 30, 34. 34 total. Gotcha. Yeah. Squish. Okay. Is Wander, is Wanderer's Guide's giving you guys sing, singular expertise, right? Uh... Every gunslinger gets it. It's just plus one damage. Rolls with firearms and crossbows. I don't know why I don't, I'm I don't on that sing you, uh, no. I have... It should be in details and... should be in details oh, and yeah. abilities. Yep, yeah, Singular yeah, expertise. So that, that should be factored into your weapons. Oh, that might be already. Oh, well, you know what? I, I'm, I'm just rolling the straight dice. I, I, I'm, I'm not rolling the actual, like, like the weapon damage die. Uh... Yeah, so so that's why. Okay, so then 30, 35. At that point, then. 
Still squish. Still, still squish, but yeah. All right, I, I, will, I, will, I will make sure to add the plus one, though. Thanks, Kel. Hmm. Yep. Cool. Thanks for keeping us honest. Yep. <laughs> All right, speaking of which... The there you go, move. Sloan. <laughs> well, thank you very much, my good friend. See, I'm not always just interpret interpreting rules in... Uh, to our uh, detriment. To our detriment. Uh, yeah. I want us to succeed by the rules yeah. as well. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> so after Henry by makes the that... rules by the blood. <laughs> I know, I know. I like pain. <laughs> <laughs> so after um, Henry makes that shot, you know, Bad Mom made his little comment, Kahlo pipes up and says, Wah. I love it when they work together. <laughs> <laughs> He's just trying to promote synergy. <laughs> we, we really should listen to the bird more. I hate that little man. He's not my best fucking friend ever. <laughs> see, do, do, do. Um, you end this ant. Yeah, I can. I should. Okay. I'm so outside of my range increment, but I, I will. Reload my rapier pistol. Um, yeah, fuck it. I need to recharge my spell, spell strike. I'll just move. I'll just take a step so I'm, so I'm not taking a minus. And I will shoot this guy for a 27. Oh, yeah, that's a hit. It's a fat old hit. Minimum damage for um, three. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, 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 no. Uh, three plus fire damage for the fire heart. Six. Six damage. Okay. And just, I'm, I'm trying to remember grappling rules. Um, does my aunt have any? No. Okay. Well, he's good. Nope. All right. Yeah. That was yes. that's one e. Yeah, I was about to say, it's 1E. All right. Yep. Everyone <laughs> suffers. <laughs> All right. And takes damage. Uh, mm. Furtive, is that your... Uh, he'll, he'll retry the spell strike. All right, perfect. All right, Chum. Blow this fucker away. Chum is going to move up to here. And we'll once again activate volley protocol. His, <laughs> we'll drop his bomb launcher, and his arm will transform once again into his hand cannon. But okay. we'll fire again. That shit is better music than Mozart. I'll tell you that. Ooh, natural 19 for a 32. Oh, what did I tell you? Better than Mozart. Destroyed. Should have rolled for the monkey first. <laughs> <laughs> uh, he needs a win. Oh, I rolled two ones. God damn, everyone. What, Wait, what oh, is with us? I, uh, I didn't roll critical damage, though, so let me, let me roll again. So it'd be two. <laughs> We've had three so members seven, of our crew. Seven, seven points of damage. Oh, uh, yikes. What a fucking crit, mate. Uh, God, right? right? Uh, so sad. So I, roll, I rolled three ones and a five. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I know. Wait, what did I say? Seven well, you double it. Yeah. Well, no, that is doubled. Yeah. All right, I think I rolled twice instead of doubling it, so it would have been four points of damage. Oof. Uh, That's not much different. I... Yeah. <laughs> God. Yeah. It would have actually been four. So. Yeah. Um, and the monkey fires. <laughs> oh, oh, <laughs> Maybe the monkey will pull it out. Oh, <laughs> the monkey's going to crit, so it's okay. Right. The yeah. monkey's going to crit. It's yeah. all going to even out. It's all going to even crit. out. Let's see, 21. now 20. 20 21 it. to hit. That's a hit. Just a regular old 21. Hit. 21. Oh, not quite a crit, but okay. Max damage with a 5. Hmm? Hmm? 5 points of damage. All right, how much damage did you say? I'm sorry. 5, I'm sorry. Is it 5. Oh, no, no, no. I just, my thing, my internet oh, froze okay, again. Okay. Oh, you're okay. Good. <laughs> you're good. You're good. 5 points. Is it points. raining where yeah, you're five, at? Yeah, the monkey does 5 points of damage. So nine points all together. All right, perfect. All right, Chum, you did your best. Um, is that your whole turn? Oh uh, yes. All right, Belky, your buddy's <laughs> buddy's grappling with an ant. I know. Yeah, all all he does is just like this thing is grappling it, and then this, this suit just like looks down and just 
straight up headbutts it. <laughs> and God, uh, twenty-seven to hit. Yeah, it's a hit. Okay, yeah. So the funny thing is, two different attacks. Which is primary attack is his fist, but mm. secondary attack is his. I gave him a headbutt because nice. he has a giant fucking thing. Oh, that's awesome. Um, oh. But uh, due to I picked with a construct, um, his construct heart is electricity. Ooh. So what he gets with this goes he's mental, blah blah blah, blah based on this. Um, yeah, I'm trying to make sure I get this correct because in essence this should be energy heart, which means choose an energy damage mm -hmm. type other than force, one of its unarmed attacks uh, changes this damage type to the chosen type. Yeah. And yeah. it gains resistance to that. So this would okay. be two D six plus four of uh, electricity damage. Nice. So basically you see in its head just kind of like sparks almost like a Tesla coil almost. <laughs> yes, yes. And just it like it's looking down grabs and just goes boom nine plus four so 13 points of electric damage as it just brings oh, its head shit. straight down on it nice. <laughs> and it does fry it y'all got some squished ants and some cooked ant <laughs> yeah like it just holds them animals and it's like hands just drops it and walks right back <laughs> uh. All right, so you guys can see uh, past the uh, collapsed wall. Um, and you can see it. there's just uh, little ant tunnels. But well, we didn't give... Just some ant tunnels. Gazra a tribute. You did not, did not give a tribute to Gazra. Um, the tunnels just kind of lead kind of upwards, you can see. So it looks like perhaps like the ant colony is like from like more towards the surface of the island. Oh, like, like, like it kind of it, it just sort of butts up against the, this room. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah. So I don't think there would be things. much gained from going into there. Well, how much do you like killing ants? Uh, quite a lot, I have to say. It's quite fun. So you and I go off gallivanting, killing ants and. <laughs> They do whatever they do here. Don't He's... tempt me. <laughs> Don't tempt me. Go, go, go. I'll, I'll catch up after you. Go, go on. Yeah, son of a bitch, Henry. <laughs> um, the, the furtive wants to investigate this mossy, messed up statue. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll, do, I'll do the same. Uh, oh, and, and the floor pattern, it's uh, upon closer inspection, you can see that it's green quartz. Ooh. Okay. That's fancy. Yeah. Yep, yep. Somebody so. spent some money on this piece. Oh yeah. <laughs> they just do not rip it up. Can I can I roll a crafting check to see if there's anything interesting about the statue or the area around it? Sure. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Is there a check to see like what Ooh. would be a tribute to Gazra? Beautiful. That to give you religion. For a thirty-one on the crafting check. Dead, okay. Dead. So. Uh, crafting check, um, you know, it's a, it's a nice uh, piece of masonry you see here. Uh, you know, hand hand chiseled stonework. Uh, you've seen many likenesses of Gazra before. Um, in your time uh, as seafarers, uh, so you can tell that whoever did this piece of Gazra, they put a lot of effort into them. Um, so yeah, that's kind of be like your general impression with crafting. Okay. I don't have religion, by the way. So. Uh, does anyone have religion? Because um. Because Belky was seeing if uh if they could figure out what a suitable tribute would be. Okay. Yeah. Same. Yeah. Uh, Sloan, you had an idea. Yeah. Combat. They wanted some uh, tribute, so just maybe if you, maybe you just threw something of value into that little pond, maybe that would help. Sloan might be onto something. Perhaps, Perhaps we could use this. And he picks up the the barrel of, of, of rum. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Wait, 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 wait! We can't Thanks. throw that. Off limits, just, my friend. They, off limits. No, I believe they say pour one out for the gods. Well, no, no. <laughs> see, see, it go, it goes into, in, it goes in, into your mouth. 
You pull. <laughs> see, see. Look, I'll show you. And he goes over and just mill houses some of the rums. <laughs> He's strict. He's just like, oh, hey, hey, hey stop don't be selfish, asshole. No, I was, I was, <laughs> Jum, demon Jum, I was demonstrating. Jum walks over. At this point, you are stealing does. from the gods. <laughs> <laughs> So. All right, so it's Chum. It's Chum, it's Chum putting the barrel in. I just, I just gotta have this picture clear in my head. He's, he's like, looks at them, looks at the rum, looks at them, looks at the rum. Throw it in, Chum. <laughs> no, don't, no, no. It's I... just fucking money. Can we make a deal? We sacrifice this rum, and I brew us more tomorrow. That's not how that fucking works, mate. <laughs> I have quite good skills in distillery. I am, after all, programmed for alchemy. Wait, okay, wait, slow, but do slow, you understand slow, the, slow. The, the passage of time needed slow. for something like that? So, so what, what, what if he makes pure ethanol rum? Throw it the fuck in. Yeah. <laughs> and he throws it in. <laughs> right, and as the the rum barrel uh, kind of hits the water and it bobs a little bit, um, <laughs> a booming voice rises from the statue. It says, "Those who seek the blessing of the wind and the waves must face the storm's fury." And the pool, <laughs> the pool erupts, and the rum barrel. <laughs> Explodes, rum splashes, no! just everywhere. <laughs> rum splashes everywhere, as uh, what seems to be a li uh, a living waterfall and what? a shark made of water burst from what? Well, from <laughs> what? the water. Yep. <laughs> And I need y'all to roll for initiative. This was unexpected. <laughs> oh, shit. <laughs> oh, right. my God. All right. Sloan's doing all right this round. Uh, Timmy, I, 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 I want you to... So I had an idea but before before the rum became way funnier, okay? Uh -huh. I had an idea of, like, what if I just took, like, a bucket of salt water and just, like, threw it on? Um... You want to peel by, peek, peek behind the curtain? Yeah, just, just, just. Nothing would have happened. Nothing would have. Okay, all right. Nothing would have happened. I, you know, yeah. I, I thought about it, but. I mean, it like makes sense, you know. Yeah. But... Right. Yeah, but. What's this guy's really like? Uh, he likes water. Water. <laughs> water. Water. Nature. Nature. <laughs> I will be right back. Yeah. All right. It gives me a chance to get some music up. Oh snap! What are we listening to? today? Day, I just think. Anything with a hurdy gurdy in it, man. Just... Any, there is a hurdy gurdy. Hold on, wait, wait. Is, is, isn't there a hurdy? Oh, there is. <laughs> you know what? Just for you, I will do this music, Mark. Beautiful. It's definitely like what you hear at Remfest. Yes, but I know the one. Oh, yeah, yeah, you know the of, one. Speaking of music, Tim Tim didn't get a round of applause for that wonderful sea shanty that he wrote. So that's true. Well done, Tim. That was well done, Tim. That was some good, some good shit. And uh, credit where credits due. Man. The transition was Thank clean you. too. Yeah, it, you were oh, just yeah. like, yeah, that was that was really cool. Oh. Whenever you can deliver exposition through song, that's just no. It's that's it's peak it's, Timmy right there. It really, it really is. It really is. <laughs> oh, thank, thank you. I appreciate that. Make me blush. Your sister will be very proud <laughs> if she ever sees it. <laughs> I'll tell her about it. I mean. I'm sure it'll go up on the YouTube. You can show her this like clip. Yeah, that's sure. Maybe I'll maybe I'll sing it for her. Maybe I'll sing it for there her. There you go. Yeah. There you go. You can sit her down and be like, "Listen, I did this on live, <laughs> live on Twitch, but I'll sing it for you specifically." Live IRL. Live IRL, which is just live, actually. <laughs> <laughs> that's just what that means. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh, whoops. Didn't mean to add you. Okay. Everyone in. Chum, what'd you get for initiative? Oh, not good. 15. Oh. Oh. <laughs> poor, poor Chum. I feel poor like Chum. Chum is really, like, living up to, like, I know. The role play. <laughs> uh, he does good in combat, but he just takes a little bit to get the gears I just, moving. I just, in my head, the, way, the, the wave comes out of the statue. It's just that scene from the first Spider-Man movie where he's about to get stabbed by the glider, and he goes, oh. <laughs> <laughs> <Exactly>. Oh, 
Tom has too many updates running in the background. Right, yeah. <laughs> Check his eyes and it's just glowing blue. Would you like to purchase WinRAR? <laughs> <laughs> no, no one does that. No one's ever done that. Purchased. Would you like to send a report? <laughs> also, no. Uh, Sending report. No. <laughs> oh, this is what the living wa uh This is what the creature looks like living water. Form. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, give yeah, us the... Yeah. Dude, I love the art and the names and everything yeah. they did that they did in Tui for all the elementals. Yeah. It's so good. Mm -hmm. I love yeah, that. Yeah, that's pretty fucking good. Oh yeah. man. Oh Henry, what'd you get for initiative? I'm sorry. Oh, I got a uh, t -t 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 -t. so I have incredible initiative, mm. uh, which yeah. gives me and uh, was that an extra plus two? I want to say. Yeah. Uh, yes. Been rolling so good. Uh, I know, right? Uh, well, no, I'm saying I haven't been adding that. <laughs> oh. Uh, so, t plus, so 11, plus 12, so 23, 25 for initiative. Okay. Okay, okay. Let's see. Boop. All right, first up is the vertiv. You rolled just good enough so I could get in front of you, Henry. Good boy. <laughs> he just, um, just glares right. at you. <laughs> You know it's the best. Stop it. <laughs> Vertive will... Hmm. Alright. Vertive will... do another spell strike, but this time much... Stronger spell. As, he's, as he rears back his uh, rapier pistol in the twirling motion, as crackles of lightning begin to oh. erupt from it. Oh. Much, more, much more violent and uh, cinematic than the produced flame cantrip that he's been using, as he will channel sudden bolt at a heightened level three. Oh, shit. His rapier oh. pistol. Ooh. Let's go. Yeah. I know how. Stab at this this is a powerful fucking spell. Let's go. Oh, yeah. Third level sudden bolt too. This is Krieg's Krieg's bread and butter. Mm -hmm. Crack a boom. And I am going to use my hero point. Oh, <laughs> oh wow! I want oh, this to land. Oh, snap. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. Better that will be a twenty-seven to hit. That's a hit. Nice. nice. Okay. My D12s out. Roll a bunch of <coughs> five D12s. That's God, if you could crit, be. That, that would have been. I know. Oh yeah. Something. Oh, 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 got a crit on that. Yeah. <sighs> got to roll a two, a three, and a three on these D12s. Oh no! Uh, uh, agony. Uh, Drop it on the ground. Yeah. All right, so that will be thirty damage. Ooh, that that's a big that's chunk. Still good. That is big so hit. Huge. Huge. That's a chunky hit. Yeah. Um, and with his last action, he is going to, actually, no, it'll be, sorry, 31 damage. Oh, nice. I oh, so he's, so he's dead, dead, right? That, so that dead. was it. That's all he needed. That's all he needed. Nailed it. <laughs> um, yeah, and with his last action, he will, he's going to back up. <laughs> Do it about here. All right. Good. Good idea. Okay, Sloan. Let you big boys take care of this guy. Sloan is going to run up. He's going Classic. to stand his ground here. He's going to look back at Henry and say, I think you should shoot this motherfucker. And then he's going to fire. Twenty-nine. That's a hit. Okay. So that is 
Sorry, gotta deal with this. Uh, Ten points of damage. Not okay. very good. And instead of shoving to reload, uh, I'm going to take the parry action. Ooh, AC. Ah. Nice, nice. Okay, okay. Now, did that ten include the plus one for singular expertise and the plus and the two splash damage? Oh no. Okay. So that is uh, is thirteen points of damage. And I believe the shark is in his cone. Oh yeah. So he takes so he oh, takes two damage as well. All right. Oh yeah, that's right. Sorry, I I can't really see it. I forgot that shark was there. Yeah, me too. Yep. Oh. I was looking at the giant waterfall. It just you waves a fin at you. I'm here too. <laughs> hey, you're just kind of a side oh. thing, my man. <laughs> uh, so after you take your stance, it's good old Henry's turn. Uh, Henry, uh, seeing this, uh, seeing this thing is like slow duck, boom, and unloads around into that thing. Uh, now, because he just hit that, I actually get a plus one because of our sniper duo. Uh, so what? Yeah, so um, the free the, the archetype that I took was called sniper duo. Uh, and what that is, is... Uh, let me go to it. Sniper duo dedication. Pretty much what it is is that the enemy can't claim cover as long uh, from Sloan being in between us. So, so if as long as he's always in front, they can't claim cover. How? Additionally, if he hits something, I get a plus one on my next attack. That's oh my gosh! Per really weapon cool. damage die. <laughs> cool. Uh, so, uh, yeah. The, uh, let me let me get to it here. Uh, whenever you or your spotter, so Sloan is my spotter, mm. um, strikes a target, the other member of your duo gets a plus some circumstance bonus per weapon damage die on the damage roll of their next strike. So it's it's only gonna be a plus two because you know with the uh, uh, plus one weapons or plus one striking and all that. But um, yeah, if I hit because it's the first round, uh, and you know I get my sniper stuff and everything like that, uh, and he just hit it, it's gonna be a crazy crazy amount of damage here. Mm. Uh, this is why it's good for me to roll high in the initiative. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so that is going to be first attack is gonna be a thirty total. That's a hit. All right. All right. So that is going to be, uh, let's see, 2d8 plus an additional d6. Uh, that is going to be 16 points of damage. All right. Uh, to the big guy. Um, and then I am going to... Uh, you know, Sloan's still there, so I'm just going to continue. Uh, I'm going to reload and shoot again. Nice. Go for it. Why do I always roll really well on this one? Uh, how's a 30? Okay. Definitely a hit. Okay. All right. All right. Uh, so just the 2d8, none of the other fancy stuff on top of this. Oh, not much of the fancy stuff on top of this. Uh... Still really good damage. 14 points of damage. Oh, my gosh. Oh, good shit. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Shipping this thing out. All right. That's Henry's turn. Next up is this little water shark. And it's, it's she's Chum right in front. And Chum is no. looking tasty. You're Not my boy Chum. Chum. No. Out with oh, Chum. I heard him. Sharky jaws. I heard him. A critical error has occurred. <laughs> oh, you have no idea. 30 to hit. Oh, a critical <laughs> error has occurred. <laughs> Is that a wait? Really? Oh. That's critical? No, it's not. No, it's not. Oh, it's twist. oh. Okay. 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 I thought okay. it was for a second, but no, it's Ooh. not. Uh, I'm good. I'm I feared good. for a minute. Yeah, me too. Ah, <laughs> oh, minimum damage. Oh, oh such good. a oh. So eight points of damage. Uh, it grabs you, and that it's just gonna keep munching on you. Oh my. <laughs> oh wait no that's not as good as i thought it was um i'm guessing a 16 misses 16 will miss yeah okay if he's All grabbed right. he's flat-footed yeah still a miss all right because it's on minus two all right belky all right so i'm 
unfortunately he's all the way at the very back yeah uh, so his first action is to cast a spell of unfortunately i don't have anything nice prepared because i assume that this thing is you can't bleed it uh bleed a waterfall maybe i don't know <laughs> maybe you can <laughs> it's just called siphoning <laughs> or fracking yeah <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Piss off Gazra! <laughs> yeah, that piss off Gazra. That, that would definitely piss off Gazra. <laughs> We've added oil to you. Oh shit! Uh, so actually, what he's going to do? Damn, that will take two move actions for my idol on the even get up there. Which really sucks. Well, yes, maybe. Yeah, damn it. Oh, uh, like just out because twenty-five feet is. <sighs> Sorry, he can't move too, too fast. Um, but what I can do, though, in the meantime, is have him move up once. Uh, so he'll move up to here. And uh, I need your people to make a reflex save there, Tim, as Belky reaches out his hand and lightning cast from it. Oh, my gosh. You said reflex? Yep. Okay. It's nothing crazy. Just saying. This is something that Kelly knows. Uh, <laughs> classic. Uh, the big boy got a 32. Fuck. Oh, my God. Happens. Oh, no. Oh, boy. All right. And the little guy got a 22. Uh, that's a fail. No, okay. that's a pass. Okay. Oh. Okay. All right. So I guess nothing happens if the electric arc. Half, da half damage on a, sa on a success. Okay. Yeah, so yeah, so, yeah. It, it's a basic reflex save, so it's always yeah. half. Oh, well, I rolled really well. Uh, so it'd be five points uh, that you'll take. Oh my gosh! I just ten. for the little, just for the little guy, right? Yep. yep. Three, okay. Four plus four. Yep, and that is it. I can move. Okay, so next it is the monstrosity. It doesn't look as big as when it first erupted from the pool, and actually, you can see now that the water is kind of like going down and is seeping outside of the pool and it's kind of covering like your like up to like your ankles um chum um belky's eidolon and sloan and henry and then all of a sudden you see the water gather oh. near henry and it starts rising up oh, henry's and you see henry is rising up in the air and it's about to crash down. And we'll see you guys tomorrow night. For what? The Henry dies. <laughs> That's where we're ending that? That's where we're ending oh, that. Oh my gosh. My god. Dang, this poor yeah. little, <laughs> little half-lighting. <laughs> wow. Uh, th thanks, thanks everyone. We'll see yep. you tomorrow night. <laughs> see the you fate of Henry. Night. The fate, fate of Henry. Of Henry hangs the balance. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, Sloan's, Sloan's right there. Nothing's getting to Henry. <laughs> yeah, but he's covered cigarette. in water. His cigarette, cigarette fizzling out in the water. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I like the thing he just chain smokes, so he's just one goes out, he just puts another one. Oh, out. definitely, yeah. Yeah, he just, just alternate. Anyway, good night, everyone. We will see you tomorrow night. Good night. Right. Good night. Good night. Hey, uh... Hold on.